What's hot in analytical technologies is what's new here in the thermoscientific technology exhibit. Let's go. I'm here with Dr. Ian Jardine. He's our Vice President of Global Research and Development. Ian, here at PitCon 2011, we're seeing a launch of some phenomenal technologies and our customers are doing phenomenal things with these technologies. Can you share some of the highlights that you uh, think are most important? We consider ourselves leaders in a number of areas of analytical science. That would be mass spectrometry, chromatography, molecular spectroscopy, elemental spectroscopy, and even laboratory information management systems. So here at PitCon in the mass spectrometry area, we have an incredibly powerful new software suite. As you know, we introduced uh, about a year or so ago an instrument based on Arbitrap technology, which produces by far the highest resolution and most accurate mass data. One of the problems that, that our customers came across was that they were generating so much data, and so we decided to take time out and provide them with an incredibly sophisticated and useful software suite called Exact Finder. So that's our main contribution here at PitCon in the mass spec area. When we move to chromatography, we have a new GCMS system. It has uptime of basically 100%. You can automatically pull out the entire source and put in a new source without breaking vacuum or killing the system, uh, which is very important for high throughput labs, as you know. We have an entirely new suite of chromatography columns, both for HPLC and UHPLC. When we move to molecular spectroscopy, we are definitely leaders in this area. And uh, we have a completely refreshed line of products. For example, even invisible spectroscopy, which is used extensively in teaching labs and in QC labs. We have a new instrument, the Spectronic 200. We also are introducing the smallest, most compact, highest performance FTIR instrument, Fourier Transform Infrared Spectrometer. And, um, and that's really a breakthrough because that device actually very powerful can be moved around the lab, can be moved down to the warehouse for testing, can be moved into incoming inspection, for example, in pharma. We have a Raman spectrometer, a handheld Raman spectrometer, which is also used actually for the same type of application, for looking at organic molecules. And the nice thing about this device is it was already small when we introduced the device a year and a half ago, but now it's half the size, half the weight, but five times the speed in terms of acquiring data. You can actually simply point through the plastic bag and get a confirmation that that in fact is the right material. And so it's an incredibly powerful technology for an important application. So that's molecular spectroscopy. We just can't show it all. Watch part two as our legacy of innovation continues.